G'day, welcome to another battle as we follow Takisakis on his conquests or retreats as we see uh, we saw him before lose to the army of Pontus and he has retreated through the steppes of Asia and went through an arduous journey through the deserts and sandstorms of Egypt and he's now reached uh, Giza, just outside Giza and he can see now the pyramids, the peaks there of the pyramid uh, where he can uh, finally hopefully get some rest and reprieve and some water for his troops here um, and but on the way here we see um, an army of Pontus blocking him they managed to outmaneuver Takis's army and block his way into Giza where he hopes to find Mark Antony um, the Roman general who, um, who basically who runs the show there um, he's not actually uh, answering to the Senate so he doesn't know if he'll be friendly and the way that will help him but Nevertheless, he's more things to worry about now as his Pontic army is blocking his way as the Scythian us, us archers, the mercenaries, are peppering away at the Numidian cavalry. This is the Numidian cavalry here which Takisakis employed, hoping that they would counter the Scythian archers, but definitely they haven't been worth their gold at the moment as the range of the range and skill of the Scythian bowmen being able to shoot and shoot with such accuracy on the move, slaughtering the Midian cavalry in droves. I'm wondering what Takisakis did pay them, but surely it was not enough to pay for their lives with their brothers. Perhaps if some of them do survive, they will tell the tale, the tale to never ever go into a Roman army of his mercenaries, especially led by Takisakis, because um, they simply sent to die, sent them to die. As Takisaki said before the battle uh, to another fellow general, that the Numidians can go in first. Who cares if they they die? As the cavalry is charging in, reluctantly the Romans charging against the noble horse once again. They hit, charging straight on and head on. As spears clang and swords clash together, but the, this time though the Roman legion is far away and separated from his army as the Pontic swordsmen here are able to gang up on the Roman horsemen as the horsemen have to worry looking up and down looking for inventory looking for horses a spear or sword to the back they have to worry both ways as they are in fear now especially they know they know after the previous battle that the noble horse uh, horsemen here are very skillful and do outmatch them in hand-to-hand -hand combat and Takisakis knows this and he's worried now as now they also are being peppered away by Pontic archers looking up looking down looking to the side all they see is an arrow spear or sword to the back face or head the Roman legions now could not poss the Roman cavalry could not possibly withstand any uh, withstand it any longer as tales of these eastern um, cavalry fame will spread after this battle and also from the previous battle they were definitely they were raised basically with horses that's how they got their skill as soon as they um, are old enough to ride they're given they're given a horse and told to go hunting uh, with their parents as the legion arrives in the battlefield to help support the troops but they clash to the Pontic legion trying to get a flank but the Pontic legion does turn or well, the Pontic uh, swordsman turns straight away and face the legion head on in hand to hand battle. As the remaining legion come forward in, as they see horses running to the back, riderless, like a, a ghost, they march fearfully but steady into battle with the Roman discipline instilled in their um, movements. They he clash head on. Sword to shield, sword in between shields into ribs. All of the Pontic swordsmen and the Roman legions are at first evenly matched as the Pontic archers fall back to get better shots. But there seemed to be more Pontic infantry in between the lines. They're definitely being outnumbered at this stage and soon maybe even more outnumbered as once again it looks like the Pontic army has won the cavalry battle and now it leaves the general Takisakis' army very 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 vulnerable with the heavy shot 
the special shot of the Scythian archers. You can hear the twang of the bow. Raining fire from the back before many of these Roman horsemen can plunge a spear to the Pontic, uh, Pontic cavalry. They get an arrow to the back. Many of these horsemen here glad to have those Scythian mercenaries and will possibly tell General Strat that they are they can be given a raise after this. The reputation of the Pontic army and the treatment of mercenaries um, as much no better than the Romans. As the legion force on the left hand side is being isolated and getting peppered away by the Scythian archers and also the footman archers they have been totally focused on by the general of the Pontus army and now they flee with their lives but flee to where? Away from Giza towards the eastern steppes perhaps but on the way they most likely will be lassoed by the horsemen of the Pontic army and taken back as slave, slaves to be working all their lives in the mines, copper mines of Pontus. As the battle rages on, the left flank falls, or the far flank as we just saw. Swordsmen head to head, Roman legion, Pontic swordsmen, very very even, but the numbers and the archers favor the Pontic army. It's almost a one-to-one, -one. hit to hit. They both have equal skills in arms and foot, but they have been peppered away. And once again, it looks like General Takisakis has fled the battle battlefield. And since we're telling the story for Takis, we can't see any more. So basically, he's run away. And um, looks like, yeah, he has. He's got a full health general there. That means he's going to run away, see another day. So hopefully, he escapes. He probably will escape. Maybe go back to the Eastern Steppes or maybe uh, divert, sneak into Egypt, into Giza, where he'll hopefully meet his reinforcements. As the Pontic army here are happy um, that they've uh, won their victory and they've collected many heads today and they're going to go back to Pontus this time because they're happy. Um, happy they've enacted revenge for such, um, such a... Uh, such a nerve to, for the Roman army to come down here. They just want to punish them. So hopefully we see um, Takisakis escape that one.